And it was dramatic. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was chaotic. I mean, we were probably one of the only real reality shows that really had that drama. Yeah. Camera on, camera off, you know. Well, it's because you guys were from the same place and you really knew each other. I mean, that's, yeah. that's where, where I mean, it was it a lot of from. delusional bullshit, yeah. you know. I mean, a lot of... A well, lot of people have egos. You well, know what I'm saying? This is the Cats and Pudding Podcast. A melting pot of pudding. And now, here's Jen. Good afternoon, everybody, everybody and, and welcome, welcome to Cats, Cats and Pudding. pudding. And, and I'm, I'm Jennifer, Jennifer Delandro, and, and today, today I, I have, have one, one of my favorite, favorite people, people, people on my podcast, podcast today. today. My, my girl, girl Marissa, Marissa Jade. Jade. Look, Look how, how beautiful, beautiful she, she is. is. I love her. She's here today, and I'm so excited to have her. So, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. How are you doing? I'm good. I feel better, actually. I I saw you twice in one week. I'm so excited. I got to see you so much. We never get to see each other. We never got to see each other twice in actually a weekend. So, that's amazing. Yes. So, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so proud of you, too. Thank you. Tell me, what's behind Cats and Pudding? Oh, my God. So, it was just a conversation, and we were talking about the podcast and developing the podcast. And I'm like, it's funny how my life took a turn. It was parties and vacations and and glamour and all this wonderful stuff. And now it's cats and pudding. I go home, I pet my cats, and I'm eating hot pudding off the stove. (laughs) So now this is what I've become, which is still good. It's still, but it's like a a double edge meaning because my show is about anything from cats to pudding. So it kind of works. So I thought it was a cute, you know, cute name. You know, nobody has it. So kind of kind of intriguing. And I love cats too. And I'm going to put a big picture of my cat, Paulie, up soon. We have to get my mm. picture off of him. And have him start calling in and talking to my guests, which I is I think funny. I'm going to get a new cat. I mean, I had mine, Angel, for 19 years. May he rest in peace. Aww. I know. And I so thought, he was 96 when he died? 19. He just mm-hmm. passed. 21. November oh. of well, 21. Well, that's 7 times it was 19. Like, it's like he's 96 years old and oh, new many years. Oh, and oh. cat years, yeah. So cat years. He lived a long time. My dog did as well. And I didn't think I was going to get another animal. And then the, yesterday morning it was, I started Googling. And oh. I came across, like, some cats. And mm-hmm. I fell in love with, like, one particular exotic cat. So I think I'm going to get yeah, you him. Got him. Are you going to adopt or are you going to do something going to buy? I think I'm going to have to buy it. I don't think I can adopt, adopt this it. one. I mean, I would love to, mm-hmm. but they're very hard to come so, by. What kind of cat? So there's two. There's one. It's a snow bengal. I oh, I've heard. I'm so completely in cute. love. And then this other one is, um, it's called the Savannah cat, mm-hmm. which is like a half serval mm-hmm. you yeah servals yes. are like cats from africa yep. I mean, they look like they kind of look like not like they're big. But like but but they're like tight ty- not tigers yeah. um what are those like not pumas what the hell am i thinking of uh maybe maybe a cross between a tiger and like a mountain cat like yeah but like, like that. more yes. mountain cat more like cat, smaller right. you know but, they're, bobcat. but about trip yes yeah. exactly mm-hmm. um, they're cute but also too it's like you know one they're all wild and they're, and, and they're more wild animals and too. i've actually met one in person mm-hmm. and he did adore me but he was still timid you can tell he could be aggressive yeah. if he wants i just feel like and you know the animals in the wild should stay in the wild mm-hmm. and i don't think we should you know have domesticate to train them? them no um mm-hmm. so i'm very up in the air with that well, him, you don't want you don't the want them one? to wreck your house either. Exactly. You know, Plus, that's what will happen. You know, I feel bad. It's like you want to give an animal like that a couple of lake- acres right, of land. Right, to run around. Of course. Yeah, so, you know, I'm definitely um, on the fence about him. But the other one, oh my God. I'm so in love. They're like $5,000 yeah. with this cat. They can't are. even. They are. But the cats are great because you don't, they're not, they're very, they're high maintenance themselves, but they're low maintenance to take care of. For sure. Which is great, right? And, because and they're they, the best. They're, and they're so smart. So smart. They're so smart. And they're so cute. I love them so much. And people think they're not lovable. My cat is like, uh, is so, my cats are so lovable. And exactly. s- and they're like so affectionate. Exactly. I have a, I have a, I have, I have a black cat and they are so smart. I swear. My, my, my cat is like a dog. I call him I and he comes to me. Thing. I'm like, Paulie. Pa- I have Paulie Walnuts. He's my, he's my cat. He's so cute. <laughs> and he comes and he's just, he's, he sleeps on me like a dog and he's just like the most affectionate thing. Does he and give kisses him. when you say give kisses? Cause that's what my cat He did. doesn't do that, but no? he does eat my food. He eats table food. It's so funny. He likes whipped cream Aww. it's a star he's so cute and he likes pudding too Aww. so i just get <laughs> angel did too angel was like an indoor outdoor cat and i would have never did that unless my my mother had because my mom had cats growing up too mm-hmm. so she was like he was about nine months and she's like i'm gonna let him outside i'm like no, no. he's never gonna come back she's like 
be they'll fine. come back. Oh yeah, if they love the home they're in, they'll come animals back. are coming back. Yeah. I mean, my dog was never on a leash. She mm-hmm. always stood by my side. I could cross a main road with her, and she'd yeah. be fine. And Angel, if I just called his name outside, like a teenager, come he comes right. running back. Aww. He was amazing. So I never thought I would be able to move on from him mm-hmm. or them. But I don't know. Yesterday morning, I woke up with a different head, and I'm like, I think I'm ready. Oh, you're ready for another one. Yeah. All right. So you take it slow, and you know what? You're gonna find one that's gonna come to you, and it's gonna. They're gonna. They're gonna make you there. I'm gonna show you a picture. You're gonna. I can't wait to see. Oh my god! I wish I could take a million cats, but I can't. I, I already have two. You know, what? I can't even wait. I have to show you. I want to see. You have to I see totally, this cat because I'm Ready? gonna probably want another cat after I see we, it. Ugh, I can't even. I could. I can't believe this thing is real. Where Do is they look? Is this the one that has the smushed face? No, no, no. But look at this. Oh my god! And that's not even his face. How cute the cat okay. is. Okay. <gasps> and that's nothing. Oh look, my god! Are you god. kidding me? Oh what is that? That is. Uh, that's. I need ama- him. That's not like. I need real. him. They look. It looks like a so stuffed cute. animal. So cute. So cute. Well, I think you should. You should definitely consider it because now I, I am one. because he's. Mm. That anyway, is so beautiful. So, t- so Marissa has a great story. So, tell everybody what show you are on. Let's story. start with that. My life's definitely a movie, <laughs> but we'll keep it PG. Um, so, I started with Mob Wives. Mm-hmm. Um, had a boyfriend at that time who I've known for a while. We dated again after he got out of prison. I became very close with his cousin's wife. Um, our mutual friend, right? Yes, okay. our mutual friend. And one day she was just looking at me like, you need to be on this show. And I'm like, what, Mob Wives? Mm -hmm. Because everyone, like, I am like, I feel like I was poster Mm -hmm. girl for that show. You know, I am like mobs, like arm candy, you know, (laughs) like it was so for me. But anyway, never really like capitalized on that until it made sense. And then Mm -hmm. one day she was just like, you know, you should be on the show. I'm like, what, Mob Wives? She's like, yeah. And then as she's saying it, she's like texting Jen. I have someone perfect for you. And Jen was like, who, Marissa? Mm -hmm. So she was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So she was like, all right, let's set up a meeting. So I wound up meeting Jen and Karen like Mm -hmm. two days later. And they were like, all right. We're filming next week. Let's film. So I sat down and did like a quick scene with Karen and Renee. Right. And then that was it. It was like. You were a lot younger than them because you didn't grow up with them. Yes. Because so you because you were a lot younger. So yeah, you, my boyfriend grew, grew up, up with them. them. I mean, I was younger, but I was always with the right. older you were crowd. Old soul. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, that's how it happened. And, and you grew up in Staten Island. Staten too? Island, mm-hmm. born and bred. Yeah. You know, a little bit outside the box, though. Mm-hmm. I'm not. Yeah, you know, you are. I'm Staten Island, but yes, I, I'm the same way. I'm pizzazz. Howard Beach, but I'm a little bit well, out a little of twang to a it. A little twang to it. Yeah. So, yep. I wear. Yeah, we we have the same similar stories. Yeah. Um. So you got on the show, and you were on for what two seasons? One, One actually, season. it was just the last season. They never renewed. I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure if we renewed and had, you know, a couple more seasons to go, I'm pretty sure I would have been a part of it. You know, I did bring a lot to that table. Mm-hmm. Um. I and t- you were pretty straightforward on the show. You yeah. are a wishy-washy like everybody else. Never. You know me. Yeah, I mean, no, I wear straight. my heart on my sleeve. Yeah. I don't like come me. with any ill intention. But I'm you're going to tell somebody the truth. Yeah, yeah exactly. You're going to tell them how it And is. anything I say to you, that person knows or is going to know. There's no you back no talking. Problem. I'm yep. very big on respect and boundaries. So let's not cross them. Right. Because... You will love me, but if I don't like you, you will hate, hate me. me. I'll make you hate me. Yes. You know? I, I, and it won't even be on a malicious tip. It's just my aura and energy. Like, now you, you put up a phony. wall and I don't yeah. fuck with you. Yeah. You can't be fine. Yeah. That's so, all. you know, the show went really well. Um, it was actually too well in the beginning to where they were, like, kind of praying for me to have some type of warring. <laughs> right. So I kind of, you know try to like say listen we're getting along too well let's stir something up but it wound up something wound up really happening and then there was real drama that entire show um and that how was many it. episodes was there there was the list? 10, 10 episodes 10, okay. yeah 10 or 11 something like that it went really quick like and was sick um so you know yeah, make so, sure s and oh, um, she was a nice lady and it was dramatic. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was chaotic. I mean, we were probably one of the only real reality shows that really had that drama. Yeah. Camera on, camera off. You know, camera went down. Well, it's because you guys were from the same place and you really knew each other. I mean, that's, yeah. that's where, where I mean, it, it was a lot of from. delusional bullshit. Yeah. You know, I mean, a lot of 
a well, lot of people have egos. You well, know what I'm saying? And that, and, that, and that lifestyle and the lifestyle that we were all grown up in, and and where and I was talking to, I was had Karen on before, and and we said the same thing. It's it's like when you're in that lifestyle, you're when you're in it, it becomes where you do think. It, it, you become like a demigod and think that you are more than what you are in certain respects. Well, listen, there's people who think who they are mm -hmm. and that's why they act that way. Right. And there's people who know who they are. And I don't change for nobody. Yeah. Camera, no camera, money, like nothing phases me. I go by the beat of my heart. And if something feels right, I do it. If it doesn't, I don't fuck with it. Mm -hmm. And I am who I am. And I think... Because I'm so confident in my skin and I know my worth and I have a good head on my shoulders, people, you know, people like to judge, prejudge people without knowing them. So, you know, right away, I'm, I, people look at me at a certain light, right? Yeah. And then they see who I am. And then it's like they get even more mad because they want me to be this fucked up human. Like right. there's so many times, especially on the show, off the show, where people wanted me to not match up to my words or actions. But I always did. And at the end, even though they were mad that I didn't fumble, they had to give me credit because right. Marissa is who she says she is and I always will be. And it's not to impress you right. or impress anybody. It's for it's myself. It's just who you are. It's who I am that's because it. I will never look in the mirror and be like, you aren't who you say you are, you know? And that's it. And a lot of people aren't up to par with no. that. They're so not, they get mad. No, they're not. You know, no. it's like a couple on the show. <laughs> They had a chance. Listen, I give everyone a chance. I'll never hate somebody off of the strength of what mm -hmm. they did to someone else. You have You'll to give do something them a shot. to me. But any person I had um, reservations with was because of actions that didn't resonate with who I am. Well, but you didn't like what they did to somebody else, and did you want to fuck with that? Like, no, that's, that's what I'm. But yeah. not even that, because I gave one person a chance. I said, listen, regardless of the fact that you're fighting A, B, C, and D. Mm -hmm. E and F. I'm gonna, but no, but you need a chance. You, but you know, but it, there was not, no chance because there was a prejudged situation prior to me being on the show, which that person didn't realize. That person didn't realize we were ever cross paths in this instance. Gotcha. So she already put her foot in her mouth prior to mm -hmm. filming. So that was kind of like a bomb when the show came. It was and who like, was it? Can we we'll talk? Who was? She's not worth mentioning, okay. but you okay. know what it is. So. Yeah, and it was just like, you know, I would have gave you a chance, but you already had me looking at you funny about 10 months prior. So I don't fuck with people that I got to look at sideways. Right. And that was it. And we left, and it, was, there. left it there. And that Started was it. that way, ended, ended that, that way. But her notion of whatever she said in the beginning and then throughout the season, it was like, well, I really do like Marissa. Oh, well. <laughs> well. You have okay. preconceived notions before, yeah. and now you want me we'll to see. take take. But I that. just don't fuck with you. Yeah. I'm sorry, because anybody worth being in my life would never cross a boundary or disrespect me or make me... I will never befriend an enemy. I won't even befriend an enemy's enemy. That's just not how I am, you know? If you're meant to be in my life, you're good people from the beginning till end. Always and forever. And that's the way it should be. That's it. There's no crossing. Bad I, blood. I just no. can't do it. I, 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 you know what my thing is? I'll give somebody a chance, and then if they, if, shame on me, shame on you, mess with me once, shame on me, mess with me twice. A hundred percent. And that's it. And once they step over that line that second time, exactly. I don't care. You're dead. Exactly. You're dead. Listen, You're done. everybody gets I wish one them chance. Well, one. And I don't wish bad on anybody. I don't God, either. God work. bless you. Listen, yeah. my God own you, worst enemy can trust me more than their best friend. Mm -hmm. I promise you. I have There's no bad blood here. Yeah, I have nothing bad to say because you know what? When it, when it comes to you doing something to somebody else because they, because you're angry with them, that's to me that that's showing that you're jealous of them. I'm not jealous of anybody. So you too did much evil eyes. Yeah, too much. You know, fine. God bless you. Good. Go with God. Exactly. Leave me out of it. That's all. And and that's okay. the way you, everybody should be. And, and listen, I've cut a lot of people off over the last few years. You know, when you become successful and you become, you know, something that somebody's not and they look at themselves and sometimes it's hard for people to look at themselves in the mirror because maybe they feel less less than or whatever. But that's not my problem. I, I, I'm not I'm not trying to make you feel that way. You're making yourself feel that way. I'm just building myself up, doing it for me. I'm not trying to make you feel bad about yourself. But then why do you have to disparage me for my good fortune or my success? I'm not trying to hurt you. Go, go with God. If you want to do something on for yourself, exactly. I, I'll bless you. I'll say God, good for you. I'll encourage it. I'll say, oh, my God, how that's wonderful. I never look at somebody and say, oh, my God, why did she get that? And I don't have that. No. I've never been like that. Well, that's the difference between, you know, listen, when you're God's baby, blessings come your way. Right. You know, when you're tainted by the devil, 
Yes. That's their mentality. So, you know, I, I know I was born in this world to become, I'm a healer. I know yeah. I am. I attract a lot of broken people, but I always give good vibes, good energy. I build people up. So I know what my purpose is. Are here you an empath too? Like beyond. Me? Yeah. Beyond. So. And, and as I get and older. And I always drag broken people the more, to me all the yeah, time. Yeah, the more aware I am, the more sensitive I become. But I know what I was meant for out here because I've helped and healed so many people. Just love, affection, attention, you know, genuity, like... And, I, and I've helped the, the poor, People. but, yes. you know, sometimes they can't help themselves. And I have to learn when to step back and say, listen, I've tried my hardest, but now you're depleting me. Right. You got to go. And that's the time when you have to step away. Exactly. When you feel like when you're with somebody now, your your good intentions turns to like a bad reaction on yourself. Then you yeah. have to step away. I'm starting to like break down off of other people's energy. Well, that's because you're getting older. Because like, when I was your oh, age. More aware. That's I, the right, thing. I'm you're more aware. aware. You're more self-aware. Yeah. And it's a lot easier to cut people off when you get older. Like now, I could see you later. Bye. Where, when I, I was younger, I, listen, I, I try to cut people off, but no one lets me go. It's yeah. like a war. It's like You'll I gotta go to, to World to... War Five yeah. for the cutoff, you well, know? Because, you, because they know what I'm good energy, yeah. you, you know. Light. But that's why I people gotta really take stop protecting light. myself. Yes, you do. A thousand percent. You do. And I think yeah. you, as you're getting older, you do. I'm, I'm learning. Yeah, Everything's learning. a growing process. So Every day is a learning. I like to learn. You know. Every second is a second to turn it all around. Exactly. And that's so true, right? Don't you think so? You know. Um, now you, now you weren't only on the Mob Wives, but you were on other shows you were on. Was it Love Island? So I did, I mean, after Mob Wives, I did Celebrity Big Brother. Mm -hmm. And then. How I, was that? I actually had a really good time. It was nice to meet other like, like-minded mm -hmm. people in the industry. A lot of the cast was reality based mm -hmm. actors, actresses. Um, everyone had their own lane, just full of energy, mm -hmm. um, talented and gifted as fuck and i love that everybody had a positive mindset mm -hmm. you know especially in this industry you have to think beyond the sky is the limit right mm -hmm. and it's hard to be around people who don't have that mindset so in that house i learned a lot about myself i learned a lot about others they helped me open up like we mm -hmm. used to sit because in that house you don't have anything there's no electronics there's no tv right. you have it's to, you have to interface and 10 with everybody other people. that are there That's so you it. have to figure out how to navigate it's a social this. experiment yeah. you have to figure out how to communicate how to have fun so we used to do a lot of like games i guess mm -hmm. like story time you know and now this is where like i get shy because yeah. one person will start off with a st with the story and then like end off at like a really dramatic ending mm -hmm. and then the next person will take over and keep going with the story right. so there's like 20 of us doing it right however many people are in the house and maybe like the first go around i was a little shy so i skipped mm -hmm. but then by like the second, third story time, I got involved, right. you know? So I was getting like more, like more confident, more animated. I even sang. They didn't, <laughs> there was one night where we literally put on a show oh, yeah. and all of a sudden me and one of the cast members are singing Grease. Oh, I and love then, it. Right? So I guess we had a little bit of drink in us. So, uh -huh. you know, I you felt good. Courage. Oh my God. So I'm That's belting so away. Everyone's singing, belting away. We had an awesome time. But P.S. When you're on a show and you don't clear the songs, it'll never air. Because, right. You know? So obviously it couldn't. It's, it, it's, um, yeah, yeah, it couldn't it's air. Copyright. But it was the cutest fucking moment ever. And Did they ever I the thought clip? I was Mariah Carey. <laughs> I don't know how it came out, but I felt really good about you know myself. What? <laughs> it couldn't have been the worst thing in the world, but if you felt good doing it, because when I, I get that so karaoke good. mic, I think I'm Janice Joplin when I start singing <laughs> Little Piece of My Heart, and that's it. And I belt it out, and I start singing to people that come into my house, and I start belting well, out Well, you my definitely got to get me drunk, because I tell you right yeah. now, I would never go oh, to no, karaoke with you, oh, no, and I, I'm not going to sing I don't have there. to be drunk to do it. I used no, to no, do it in the middle of the day be. and when I first got my karaoke machine like my husband would come home and I'd be singing like like to, to, like to the to the delivery people who used to come in I'd be like oh listen I used to sing to my friends on their answer machine <laughs> I mean I, I sing like, in the <laughs> shower it sounds really good when it echoes right like off the wall no I don't have a voice like yeah. that well, but I could I sing like, Janice that and you know what's sing. weird like sometimes I'll sing to myself and someone next to me will always catch me and they'll be like oh you're a really good singer I'm like yeah but then I feel like if I try to go up 10 notches I'm like <laughs> like, let me just stay monotone and you that keep sounds it in your nice. Own All right, we have to we have to do a karaoke night one night. No. That's what we got to do. As long as we don't film it. No, we don't have to film okay. it, but we'll definitely have to do it because it'll be All a right. lot of fun. I got to be in my zone. Yes, we'll get you in the zone. <laughs> so after that, you know, it was a great experience. I loved it. Um, my time was short lived on it because I was probably one of the 
most unknown um, faces mm-hmm. to because it was done in in um, Europe, right? You know, mm-hmm. so I got put up on the chopping block really quick. It was actually day one, and um, it was only because the guy who was an actor. His name was Sean. I forgot Sean's last name. But he was like, he knew everybody kind of but me. So he was like, all right, I guess I have to pick her. But he, like, quickly regretted it, like, after that day. And he wished he never put me up. But I do feel like everything happens for a reason. Because not only did I experience a lot within the show, I got to experience a whole month of Europe being out of it. And, like, I was networking, doing what I had to do, meeting important people. So everything happened the way it happened for a reason. Totally believe that. Came home, felt great. That led to another show. Mm-hmm. And then I was... And what was the next show? Um, celebrity... Um, <laughs> ex on the Beach. Ex on, Celeb on the Beach. On the beach. Right. And I filmed that in Spain. Do you know my friend Ashley was supposed to be on that on that season with you? Remember Ashley? Really? From, yeah, from, from 90 Day. You met Ashley at, at um, Karen's birthday a couple years... No, Lizette's birthday a couple years ago. Maybe. The blonde, she came with me. Wait, she that was, was her name? Yeah, Ashley. Ashley's I thought man. she was supposed to do a show after me. Yes, she was supposed to go on either your that your season or the one after or the yeah, one. Yeah, there was the one after. Yeah, she was Did she do ready. it? No, she decided she backed out of it. Why? She, she didn't want to deal with her ex. Well, she, yeah. Okay. So she I, listen, want, I had you remember, options. She was on ninety day fiance, so she had to deal with him, and she finally got real rid of him out of her life. And she's like, "Am okay. I going to start stirring this all up again to do?" It? Well, that's how I yeah. felt. So, like, my manager was like trying to put me on the casting in New York. And I started, and I never get nervous, but I started having a little bit of heart palpitations because I'm like, all right, my exes aren't normal. Right. Like, my exes are street. <laughs> like, you know, they're like not made for TV. TV like right. they'll get arrested for being on TV. So I'm like, I don't want to play that. That would be stress to have them come out of the water. God knows what they would say. I already had one ex acting a fool when I was on Mob Wives. And, and next thing you know, he, him and, and the other culprit on the show were like talking shit and conspiring behind closed doors, trying to talk shit and have like blogs, talk nasty bullshit about me, even if it was fake. And I was just like, I don't need, you know. Time, episode two of that. Right. So I was like, I'm going to do the show in Europe where nobody can get me. Right. You know, so you- these guys, they can't even like fly out there right. because of their record. So we're good. Okay. You know, I'll stay out there. And I had, and I find it that out of the United States, filming is more fun. Yeah. I hate to say that, it's but true. it's only I think it's because... Neg- I think everything's negative well, that's on the thing. shows right America now. America kind of thrives off of negativity and aggression and fighting, yep. so it's like they want to disrespect each other. Yeah. In I Europe, agree. there's been a lot of that, a little... Well, that goes on as well, but because people are so sensitive and it led to a lot of suicides, mm-hmm. they really refrained you got from, they refrained people from being so negative and aggressive. Mm-hmm. They were very like, you fight, you're getting kicked off. Right. Then there's no pay. Right. Um, and also too, because of a lot of like the suicide or whatever that was going on within like the reality world, you know, we had like hands-on people. Are right. you okay? Uh, everything and right. everything you need. Mm-hmm. Like there was therapists on deck. There was therapists that reached out to you after and the show. And it really should be because of yeah, what, and what I was fine. Like they know me. Like I'm very like tough skin. So they well, were like, I New know York, you. We're Italian, we, so can, we, you we can you we can whatever film whatever we want, and you're fine oh, with putting fine. it up. Yeah. Whereas, but if I wasn't, we're like, we're like paratroopers. Exactly. We if I wasn't okay with something. Thing, right. They were like, oh, you would know I wasn't okay with something. They, but they That's asked it. me if I wasn't okay. Mm-hmm. Like, if I didn't want something to be seen, they mm-hmm. wouldn't have shown it. They gave you that respect. They try to let you, they let you lead in a good light. Right. They didn't want to embarrass you on but TV. I, I they like didn't that want to because disrespect I feel like you. Every, every show, I was just talking about this with my other guests, every show that I see now, and that's why I don't even watch them anymore, because they're all negative. Everything is negative. There's nothing mm-hmm. positive about it. It's always, it's just, listen, of course you're going to have some negativity, but I want to see a show that's going to be fun, that's going to be lighthearted. Have some happiness yeah. when you no, see it. No, they're just very aggressive it's at it, which don't get me wrong. Yeah. I fit very well yeah, into it, I but mean, it's like, do I have to break your face listen, on TV? No, like, let's just, like, kumbaya. I don't want to always be fighting either. I Listen, I love to fight. You know what I mean? I love to I love to, to <laughs> battle. Don't think I don't. I love a good argument, but, and, I, and you know, I'll kick your fucking ass too, but, like, do I want to go through that every that. day? 
you know, yeah. to do that. It's like exactly. sometimes you want to just laugh, have a good time, and the drama will come. It was just naturally, like, yeah. yeah, naturally. You yeah. know what I mean? But the whole bullying shit that I've been seeing, I'm like, I, I don't get it. A bunch of bullies, everyone's fighting, but no one leaves with fucking cuts, bruises, or blood. It doesn't right. make sense. What are you doing? I don't know. I'm just, I'm bred differently. Yeah. If I, you want me to fight you, like we're fighting, right. you're going to regret fighting. Right. There's not going <laughs> like, to be like, we're just and we words. ain't making amends no, after. We're not no, no, fucking no. hugging I'm it not out. Be, I'm not you want to fight me, you're my that. enemy, bitch. That's it. Like, that's it. I, Sorry. If, especially if somebody's going at me like that. <laughs> exactly. I'm not, well, like, this ain't no, for TV. No. This is real life. I, when I, like, well, what are the time? You've been dead. That's it. You stepped on my foot 20 years ago. I fucking hope your whole family dies. Like, that's it. I'll never want to see you again. That's it. And that's how we are. Exactly. And that's how it goes. So that's why people like us can't. That's deal why with we shit don't like initially that. try to start the drama because, right. like, we know where it ends. Right. It's you know, not like end well I'm not fighting you with you to be catty just to fight with you. No, I want to fight like, with you because there's I'm, a fucking reason. Yeah, I'm not just. And doing I don't, that I don't reason. start, but I finish. Just yeah. so everyone knows, okay? Yes. Fucking finisher, and you're gonna regret it. She's a finisher. I'm a finisher. Me too. I'm a finisher too. <laughs> I do. Usually people don't start with me because they know where it's gonna go if they do start with yeah. me because I don't play that shit and I don't like that unless they unless you know sometimes people take your kindness for weakness and and that's where people. 100%. Make make the wrong decision sometimes, Agreed. and then it's quickly you know turned yeah. around on them. <laughs> yeah, so it's not they, in their favor. Not in their favor at all. But exactly. you know, like I said, I could be the nicest person in the world, and I could be the worst bitch that you ever would Agreed. you know want to come in contact in with. a non malicious manner. Yes, like I yes. won't be malicious, bitch, and I'm but I'm going to be the biggest I don't bitch. You know, have to be, you know what? It's, I think when somebody makes me be a malicious bitch is when I get more vicious because I really don't want to be that but if you force me to be that way oh now you're going to get it and then tenfold because yeah. I, I want I don't want to be like that I want to be fun I want to be happy I want to you know I want to be positive when somebody brings me down to that level it's like you I want to kill somebody because exactly. I don't want to be at that level and if you're okay. putting me at that level, I get mad oh, at no, myself because I, I can get yeah. ugly and I don't want to be yeah, ugly. I don't want to be ugly but for no like, reason. But yeah. if somebody puts you in that frame of mind, then you're re then I'm like, oh, like, that's it. Like, don't do that to me because, you know, what? I, I don't I, I, you're not important enough for me to get me to that level. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, and if you do, you're going to, you're going to not like my response. So, well, that's why we're like a group of girls. I yes. think we all have the same mindset. No, we do. You know? None of us are like punks. So. No, and nobody, you know what it is? It's nice. It, we have a nice group because it's like nobody's there to like outdo somebody else and or anything like that. It's just everybody's there just to hang out and have a nice time and enjoy exactly. each other's company and 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 be happy that we actually got We're the proud chance. of each other. We right. actually support each and other. And we build each other up yeah. instead of instead of drag each other down because, you know, you get people in your life and even your best friends who don't want good <laughs> for you. It's very sad. And they might not say it, but even if they're thinking it, it you kind of get that energy. You know? 100%. You know you what I'm saying? You gotta cut them off. Well, that's what you, that's what, I mean, I've done, like I said, I've done that in the last five years. It's been so easy for me to cut people out of my life. If you're not good for me, you're out of my life. That's it. And God, like I said, go with God. I'm happy. No malicious, no, no malice. But you know what? Stay, I stay out of my lane. I just yeah. don't want nothing. You know what? Do what okay. you need to do. And you know what? And then you feel so much lighter. You feel so much better. Because when totally. you try to when you try to cultivate a bad relationship with somebody who's that jealous of you, it's never going to end right. And you're never going to fix it. Because once somebody has that green envy, there's nothing that's going to take it out of them. Yeah. It's very sad. Yeah, and yeah. that's evil. 100%. That's evil. It's bad. And that's negative. And I don't want to be negative. I want to be positive. I wanna, and Let's that's why it's positive. nice hanging out with, like I said, you guys and the group. I, I think that we all have that kind of positivity because I think we all feel that way. Yeah. And people have done it to us. So, you know, we kind of understand. 100%. Right? Each Agreed. other. That's what 100%. I feel. I don't know. That's all. That's my little. We're done. I think we're good. <laughs> so tell me now what else. Now, what's on the horizons for you right now? <sighs> what do we got? Though? A couple what do we got of things brewing? on the table. What do we got brewing? Um, in, nothing in concrete to really speak upon. So I don't want to create bad juju with it. But there is something that I'm passionate about. Um, and we're just finishing up the treatment. And um, we're trying to see, like, what's the next step. But. It's reality based. Mm -hmm. um, love the notion of it, the mm -hmm. idea, and I can see it really being something. Mm -hmm. um, but I just got to go over one hurdle to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I became the spokesmodel of a vodka company. So really? maybe we should take the wow. edge off, oh, you know, know, especially after what we've been talking I know about. Th I know that, Rocker. Stop. Vodka. Yes. Do you? Who reached out to you? Um, 
Somebody, um, okay, so their like PR team mm-hmm. reached out to me saying that you would be a perfect fit. I mm-hmm. want to introduce you to the owners. Um, there's a great vodka out. Yes. So I was like, all right, let's do it. I'm I'm open for anything. They're my ex-husband's very good friends. Really? Yep. Let yep. me tell you something. And mind you guys, vibe. it's so weird because so one, funny. I'm not really a drinker. But if I do drink, it's like champagne or something hard, like brown, hard, straight up like a dude. Right? I'm not a vodka girl. But mm. ironically, for a girl who doesn't drink vodka or drink espresso, I can do an espresso martini. With that said, there's never been a vodka in my entire life that I could take a sip of and not cringe that face. You know what it is because it tastes like rubbing alcohol when going down. This is the first bottle that I have drank, Mm -hmm. sip, that I had a smile on my face as I did it. There's no burning sensation. It's smooth as hell. Uh, Smooth as hell doesn't make sense, Mm -hmm. but it's smooth. No, it's a good vodka. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's basically along the lines of Ciroc. Ciroc is super smooth. Mm -hmm. This is even smoother and better. So with that said, I would like to take a shot with you because I just want to see your reaction to it. I've drank it before. So you have already? I, yes, I know the company. Could I'm you friends pretend with them. that you didn't have I a sip pretend, right now? I could pretend. And they know that I know <laughs> that. I have pictures of me with That's them. That's so with, funny. With the, I have hats with, the, with all the hats That's all great. Over my well, they're ass. doing well. They're actually in yeah. like several like hard rocks casinos, yes, they are. which we makes were, so much sense. I did an event sense. with them last year, in May. Did we you? We were at hard rock in, in, um, in uh, Florida. Okay. They were there, so oh, I was nice. there with them. Yeah. Yeah, they're in like several states. Mm-hmm. Um, they're doing really well yeah. though. They keep and they're good people. Expanding. They're they, sweet. They're sweethearts. Super sweet. Super sweet. And you know, you know, smart. you know, you know uh, the the brother and sister. Yeah, yes. they're wonderful. Very good. They're nice. They're nice yeah. people. Mm-hmm. They're very nice people. Yeah. Well, do you, do you should we try this right now? We could try it. We a could little try sip. It. We'll okay. take a little sip. Let's go. Okay. I might be. I might get sick because I do have an ulcer. So I'll take a little oh, sip. Exactly. We'll, we'll just like wet our palate. Okay. Okay. Oh, that Let's wasn't like pretty. This is for and you guys. Go. I'm supporting for everybody. Right everyone, now. be on the lookout when this comes out. Mm-hmm. You have to get it. I promise you, it's worth it. Yes. Okay. Salute. Cheers, my girl. Cheers. Oh, I'm gonna take a little sip though. It is smooth. I'm I telling you, look, before. no reaction like water. And if this was any other vodka, I would be like. <laughs> I would like cringe. I can't believe like how surprisingly good it is. So when are you gonna start? What are you gonna start doing for them now? Um, we just spoke. We got everything together. We're gonna start doing photo shoot. I think you know marketing plan. Everything is based on social media, right? That's right. where it is. For, yes. You know, and let me tell you, I am like an advertisement person's dream anything that gets thrown in my face all day every day i just buy so i was like you have to just go viral with this you know so we're gonna do commercials we'll have a little campaign going um but beyond that really the taste speaks for itself no it's a good vodka it does it is they're good people and i and they're they're very they're very nice people they are yes they're very good friends with my ex-husband that's how i know them isn't that a small small world I can't. Yeah. Yes, very good friends. That's and I know them. Uh, um, what's uh, do, do, not Darlene? Yes, Darlene, yes, yes. right? Darlene yes. and Mike, husband, yeah. brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, Joe. Joe, thank you, Joe. Yeah. Very nice. I mm-hmm. went to Yankee games with them. I hung oh out with them. God, yeah, I, I know them very well. well. Mind you, all of us do not live in the same area no. either. Mm-mm. Like it's a small. We're world. all like an hour and a half apart yeah. from each other. Yep. Yeah. It's not funny. It's a, definitely a small world. Yeah. So, but they're good people, and I I've been wishing them well. They've been trying to get this out for like the last two years. Great. I've done a couple events with them. I was just, I told you I was just in Florida with them in May. We would did, we did it in Hard Rock Cafe. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. We had a whole, so they're good people. So you'll you'll be uh, yeah. They'll take good care of you. That they was really one. <laughs> so what? So besides the vodka, now what else do we think we're going to be doing <gasps> now? Do you just doing vodka? reality show? Um, honestly, I'm just living life. I don't know. I'm floating right now, wherever life takes me. But I'm like, I feel so happy right now. Like, I feel like I'm on top of the world. It's crazy. It's just like an internal feeling. And so, you know, I know God has things in store for me, and I'm just going where He wants me to go. But oh, I'm happy. You look happy. You've oh, been thank happy. You. I know. I am. I am. I feel really like fulfilled. Even though I'm like not where I'm supposed to be, I feel like I can taste it. Like I'm so close. So And yeah. you're almost there. How's your son? He's good. He's, He's big. good. He's so big. I know. He's so, so cute, cute though. He's yeah. adorable. He's such a good boy. Thank Is you. he still playing baseball? Baseball, back in basketball, football. He's like 
you know. Does he start to think about college? Well, he better. I'm saying this. He, he like, better. He, well, yeah, he, like he wants to go to Florida. I mean, I always invented Florida's in his a great brain place to go to, to go Florida, especially go. for baseball, because, yeah. you know, I want him to play all year yeah. round. Or out here, it's just the weather's so rough. So, um, I'm, you know, he's so down for it. But I told him, you know, the gray has got to be up. This whole cute face mm-hmm. and demeanor of yours is only going to take you so far. I said, you got to be a girl yes. to get that. Uh, I said, but you better become like a powerhouse. Like, show them, like your worth in baseball and then we'll see where it goes you know but he's and a typical he's, boy is he doing this traveling teams too travel yeah he's doing everything so but, um, cute you know he's such a good boy yeah, Aww. I know. he's your bud he is i he's love your him bud. and he's such a little man he's you know that's the man in your life right yeah well you know he's not my man <laughs> man but he's my little man yeah. yeah and he's a good kid he really is very respectful so i'm so glad you came in today and hung thank out with you. me it was so much fun yes thank you for having me i love i can't wait to hear you know, get you back here and find out what's going on you know for the next your yes. next your next ventures in your life mm-hmm. and uh i'm sure we'll see each other before that anyway i'm pretty I, sure i love my girl um, and i'm so happy you came in i love you so much thank you i love you i love you more Oh, we love as well. Love in the room. Always. Everybody, <laughs> please watch me on YouTube, on Spotify, and Apple. Not just the shorts. We're getting a lot of hits on the shorts. I want you to watch the whole video and hit that button to subscribe. Yes. Cats and pudding, baby. Mwah. Cats and, rock, and pudding. Rock a rock a. That's all I for you. Yes, G. <laughs> there you go. Bye.